it's finally happening. We're finally getting the update that us advertisers have been asking for since Performance Max campaigns launched, and that's negative keywords in a usable format. Previously, there were negative keywords, but only at the account level, and sometimes you even had to use a rep to get those added, but no more. Google recently announced campaign level negative keywords for Performance Max. So in this video, we want to show you how to add those negative keywords and talk about some scenarios where you might want to do so. The first thing I want to call out is that these negative keywords for Performance Max campaigns are still being rolled out to accounts. In reality, we just got our first account access a week before I'm recording this video. And as I sat down to record, I checked in another account and now it's in this one as well. So because of that, that means that we have to be in a live client account and it means that a lot of things are going to be blurred, but you'll still get the gist of how to add all of these keywords to your performance max campaigns. That also means that when you log into your account, you may or may not see this setting just yet, but that's okay because trust me, it will be coming soon if it's not already in your accounts. I've already filtered this account to just our Performance Max campaigns. And as you can see, we have a couple of them live. To start adding negative keywords to your Performance Max campaigns, just click into any of the campaigns that you've got active. And then I kind of gave it away earlier because I didn't close the menu down, but you'll then need to jump into the keywords portion of the audience's keywords and content section in the left-hand navigation. Now, the biggest shortcut to know if you have access to negative keywords in Performance Max or not is this keywords tab itself. If you don't have this in your dropdown and you only see locations, content, and ad schedule, that means that you do not have access yet to this campaign level negative keyword setting. But to start adding our keywords, I'm just going to click into the keywords tab. You can see here that even though it's named keywords and up here, it says keywords, the only option we have are negative keywords. We don't have any yet because as I said, this is a brand new setting for this account, but to start adding negatives, just click the blue plus button. When we go to the drop down, you can only add to campaign. There's not asset group available and you can't do the account level settings here, but then just start adding in your negative keywords as you normally would all of the match type restrictions will still apply to these negative keywords. And if you need a refresher about how match types work for negative keywords as compared to regular keywords, you can check out the video at the top of the screen right now. But for now, the only negative keywords that I actually need to add to these campaigns in this account are the brand names. And just for the sake of not having to blur them in this video, I'm gonna skip it for now. But if I were to have added something in this space, I can then just click the save button and then they will be applied down here at the bottom. You'd see the name of the campaign they were added to and it would say campaign level. Now let's start talking about some of the specifics around what you can and can't do with the negative keywords for Performance Max. And for that, I'm actually gonna hop into Google's support article and a LinkedIn post here in just a second. So to cover the basics here for negative keywords in Performance Max campaigns, you can see officially Google has this in their help section. There is a walkthrough of how to add the keywords to your campaigns, which I just showed you, but a couple of things that I want to call out. So this note specifically has some things that are important. Performance Max negative keywords are applicable to search and shopping inventory only. This will not have any negative keyword impacts for your display, YouTube, any of the other placements that Performance Max can show up. That's actually the same that it always has had for the account level negatives. As you can see down here at the bottom, account level negatives are still applicable for Performance Max campaigns. They will still work for your entire account the way they always have. But again, it will only be search and shopping inventory. If you want to know how to add account level negative keywords to your account, we've got a video at the top of the screen that you can check out right now. But then the other bullet point in this note says negative keyword lists aren't available in Performance Max campaigns. And if we hop back into that live client account, you can see on this page here where it says add negative keywords or create a new list, but I can't use a negative keyword list because they're not supported in Performance Max campaigns. But this is where our LinkedIn post comes in handy. Google Ads Liaison and friend of Joe and I, Jenny Marvin, posted not too long ago that later this year, there will be negative keyword list support for Performance Max campaigns. We'll need to stay tuned for that, but that's pretty exciting if you've got lots of negative keywords that you need to add into your account and it's easier to use lists, which quite frankly, I think that it is. If you wanna learn more about negative keyword lists and how to use them, check out the video at the top of the screen right now. But then speaking of adding a lot of negative keywords to your account, there's a little bit more in this post. So at the top here, you can see that originally Google 
announced that they would let you add 100 negative keywords to your Performance Max campaigns. And while I'm sure there was resounding approval for the idea that we could then add campaign level negative keywords, apparently Google also got an earful about the fact that 100 negative keywords is not enough for a lot of advertisers. Because of this feedback, Google is now going to give you 10,000 negative keywords per Performance Max campaign. That's gonna be in line with search. And it says that this change is gonna be rolling out in the next couple of weeks. As of the recording of this video, I'd already told you that the account that we looked at a second ago just recently got access to campaign level negatives for Performance Max. It's unclear to me if it will roll out with the default setting of 10,000 campaign level negatives or just the 100 and then eventually be updated. But either way, this change should be rolling out soon. So if you notice that there's a phased approach and you do have a limit to start, it will increase to 10,000. Maybe just prioritize your top 100 negative keywords, get a little creative with your match types and have things in place until you can get that increased threshold of 10,000 or if you're willing to wait until later this year and start using negative keyword lists. The last thing I want to talk about is why you would use campaign level negative keywords for performance max campaigns in the first place. We already had account level negative. So what's the reason for needing campaign level instead of account level? Well, first of all, this first bullet point here, now we can start to control performance max compared to regular search campaigns. It's always been a struggle to make sure that your performance max campaigns don't cannibalize your search campaigns. Even though performance max can work really well, search has a lot more control a lot more insights, a lot more you can do with it. And many advertisers feel better having the majority of their budget there with Performance Max being a supporting character rather than stealing the show. There were some updates a little while ago about how ad rank and match types will influence whether a Performance Max campaign or a regular search campaign will show if they're both eligible. You can check out that video at the top of the screen right now. But now with campaign level negatives, you probably don't have to worry about that as much if you have a preference on whether a keyword would show for Performance Max or in a regular search campaign. All you gotta do is add the negative and you can query map your way to having all the traffic in the right campaign that you want. The second instance is for brand. Many times Performance Max campaigns would steal brand traffic or would go after brand traffic. And similar to the challenge with regular search campaigns, you might not want that to go through Performance Max. You might want it in your regular search campaigns or you might want it someplace else. But adding your brand name at the account level just felt really restricting. I know a lot of advertisers who eventually made two separate accounts, having one be their non-brand account because they could only add brand terms at the account level. And then they had a second account that would let the brand terms come through. So this is a big game changer for just having control about where your brand goes. And the same is true for the next couple instances, whether it's search campaigns or shopping campaigns, it's always been a really great tactic for advertisers to control which products and which services are advertised in each campaign and have them not overlap too much. But with Performance Max, that was really difficult to control because you couldn't have campaign level negatives. Now that you can, again, you can query map your way, make sure all the search terms are going to the right product groups, the right creatives, and you can focus the traffic where you want to. And that leads into the last bullet point, which is around messaging control. Performance Max campaigns, although they operate somewhat similarly to responsive search ads, we still have more control with RSAs than we do with Performance Max. So being able to make sure that some search queries find their way to specific Performance Max campaigns or specific search campaigns and not other Performance Max campaigns can give you a lot more control on what messaging is seen by which users. Overall, this is a huge update. I know when Performance Max rolled out, and there were no negative keywords and there didn't seem to be a remedy for it. A lot of advertisers were really worried that we were gonna lose all of the control of our ads and everything was just gonna be fully automated by Google. This update definitely speaks to the fact that Google wants advertisers to still be involved, still want us to have some control. Maybe they just didn't foresee the amount of ire that they would cause by launching without a negative keyword solution in place. Hopefully you're as excited about this update as I am. I think it's gonna make all Google Ads accounts that I manage work a bit better because now I'll have a little bit better control, a little bit more ability to make sure we're putting money where it works and get the best results we possibly can for our clients. If you have any questions about this negative keyword rollout for Performance Max or anything else in the Google Ads interface, let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. 
If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the Super Thanks button.